So we're sitting on the couch one Saturday, just kind of thumbing through the channels, and we run across Pastor Cassie on the Sid Roth Show. And we were glued to the TV from the moment Pastor Gary came on. And after it was over, we looked at each other and said, we need to order that. Yes, we did. So we ordered it, and when it came in, we just listened to them nonstop. We literally just immersed ourselves in his teachings. We started listening daily for hours every day for probably two years. It started to renew my mind, the teaching yes. did. It got my thinking into the kingdom way of thinking, the way God wants us to think. It just changed our lives. Things that I believed and understood, he kind of put it all together and made it uh, make sense. When we moved out here, we really felt God had given us this property to use for the kingdom. We finally moved into our house out here in Franklin. Two weeks later, Keith lost his job. If it had been a normal day or a normal time, I think that would have really sent him into a tailspin. But because of Pastor Gary's teachings, we knew that that was just gonna be an opportunity. There was something else. Because we really had felt like when he, he was working for a corporation, a huge corporation, he got an early retirement and it, it just never got released. It was like, he was supposed to get it in like six weeks or something like that. It just kept being held up. You know, we got to do another packet of information and, oh, we didn't fill out this form. And, oh, we got to have this one. And it was ridiculous. And even the guy that was doing our finances said, I've never seen anybody be held up this bad. Well, during that time, the Lord spoke to me one day and said, I'm not going to release that money until Keith has totally learned how to give in faith because I want to do an amazing thing with your business and I won't be able to do it until Keith has learned to give with, with faith. And so it, it was held up for like at least six months. We started giving, so we started giving in faith and every Sunday morning when we would watch Pastor Gary on, on the TV, we would stand and, and pray over our, our check. We put our hands on it and we prayed together and we agreed and we released our faith according to you know, Mark 11, 22, 23, 24. We released our faith and we started seeing miraculous things happen. January of that year, of the next year, he, we, we were going strong and uh, he launched his, his trucking business. When I started my business, it was just me and a truck. I was really working a lot of hours, but it was working. My first month, I'd done $4,200 in volume, and I was pretty excited about that. A few months later, when my friend called me and I changed from transporting cars to transporting different commodity, that's when the growth started, and it, it got to where it was more than I could handle, so I had to hire more people. Gary says, if you're gonna take territory, you're gonna have to learn to administrate. So I thought, whoa. So then I had to learn more about my phone because I was a geezer and I was technically <laughs> challenged. So I had to learn more about technology, how to use that more. I had to learn about the laws of owning a trucking company, including federal. But I remember days coming home, I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up. But I thought, well, what's the alternative? I'm back to square one then, living paycheck to paycheck, not being able to be generous. I can't quit, I've got to go on. Pastor Gary would say to us, it's gonna get worse, you just gotta get better. The chaos is gonna come. Chaos. He told us about that and we didn't realize, but then every time we'd try to take territory and I'd add a new driver, the chaos would get worse or it would increase, you know. But then a few times after that, I thought, well, I've been here before. So that <laughs> chaos will make you grow. That first year or two, I changed more than I ever changed in my life. And I had so much to learn that I did not know. Once we started releasing our faith, we started seeing God just doing amazing things and we couldn't even keep up with it. It just blew our minds. That's when we, I sent that one uh, letter to Pastor Gary about how I had just sent in an invoice for $31,000 for one week of work. That was the first week he had taught the Power of Rest series. Yes. We tripled our giving and we tripled our business. We more than tripled our business. And you know, you might say, well, of course you tripled your giving, you tripled your business. But that the, the giving had to come first. The giving had to come first. When Keith really learned how to tithe, our business, our, our business jumped. The, the first year we made $220,000 which we were really excited about. I mean, I, I have to say I was more excited about that than now 
which is, sounds kind of funny, but it was just that newness of, oh my goodness, we can do this. We were learning how to give, and then that next year, we jumped to over $800,000. We went in to see the, the CPA, we had to change CPAs, and we went in and took our tax returns and we set it down before him. And he, he looked at the numbers, and that year we had made 1.3 million. And he said, how did you do this? This is unheard of. How did you jump from 220 to 820? How did you do that? And we were like, well, God. And I said, but look at, look at the giving. We, we give, we were giving that year what I used, more than what I used to make. This year we expect to make about 2 million, maybe more. And that's an astronomical number to go from 220 to 880, 1.3 to 2 million. So people say, well, how did you do that? Giving. I can't say it enough. Not only did Keith and I learn to tithe, but we also started partnering. And Pastor Cassie says all the time, the church has taught us how to give and how to sow, but it's not taught us how to reap. How we to learned how to, how to harvest. You've got to put your, your bucket out. You got to put your net out. The word is, is a lamp into your feet. Well, if you've ever walked with a lamp, it only shows you the next step or two. You cannot sit in your house and just wait for the, the spotlight to show you the next 100 steps. It's probably not going to happen because we moved here to build furniture. It gave us the courage to move here. And then when we got here, he opens, you know, starts his trucking company. And now we're looking at two million. We have no idea how we got here. We're just following the precepts that we learned from Pastor Cassie. A great lesson that I learned from Pastor Gary, he said, just say yes, mm. and God will figure it out. And so many days during that growth spurts that we were having, just solid growth, it just kept growing and growing. I said, Lord, I don't know what you got for me next, but I say yes. And that's when God will open the doors, when he knows you're willing. It's just like when you open your checkbook, if he knows that you're willing to let it flow through and he realizes you're trying to help people, he'll mm -hmm. keep pouring it in and he'll, he'll pour it in faster than you can put it out. He just wants to know if he can trust you. Can I give you a hundred thousand a year? Can I give you 200,000 a year? Or can I give you two million a year? Can I give you 10 million a year? And that's what God's looking for. And Pastor Gary does a great job of teaching us that. Just say yes, just say yes and see what God will do for you.